Hello there everybody, this is Graham, my son is The Collector 75. Welcome to another Transformers Combiner Wars review. Um, yes, this is a set that actually I probably wasn't going to get, um, for a couple of reasons actually. This is of course the Combiner Wars Devastator. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to get this mainly because uh, I had, I think it was uh, Make Toys Green Giant, and that for me, um, well at the time obviously I didn't know they were going to make this obviously. Um, yeah, it filled a gap for what I was probably going to put it in my like classics um, uh, um, set up, you know, of all your classics figures, or maybe even your masterpiece type figures really, because it's around the same, same sort of size and it's good detail and everything. So I wasn't really going to bother with this, and then um, I saw, saw it for a, an half decent price, and so, um, well, my wife got it for me for Christmas so uh, that is why I got it and I thought so it's a nice Christmas present and to be honest I love the size of the combined mode because it is one of the biggest probably the biggest um, devastator that you're likely to get uh, right so I'm not going to do the transformation so I'm just going to give you my thoughts on each figure and everything um, and leading up to the big combined mode uh, so we're going to start here with um, Scrapper now I actually like this scrapper. Um, I'm not totally sure if it's based on a proper proper design, like because uh, obviously the little guy is quite small to get up here. Um, and I, I think the original was a more of a smaller type scale front loader uh, than this one is designed to be. Um, I'm pretty certain they do do them this size, but whether again this is a proper design model or not, because you know with, with some of these figures they do take their liberties of course. Um, but saying that is actually really good. I like the giant scoop at the front. I mean, you're going to get a good bit of articulation, but no articulation unfortunately on the front there, but then again, you know, what can you do? Um, wheels all turn. He does roll quite well. I'll give him that. Um, yeah, he does, yeah. Um, other than that, he does exactly what he says on the tin. You can attach the extra Combiner Wars ports on the back to give him that sort of like winged front loader mode. Um, but even with the G1 toy, I, I really rarely did that. So that is Scrapper there. Um, overall, yeah, not a bad vehicle mode. And these guys do have some issues in robot modes. Um, and one of these guys does have an issue in, in alt mode. This is Bone Crusher. This is, for me, a great representation of Bone Crusher. I, I, I really like it. Um, a great updated version of his classic G1 self yeah i cannot afford it. it does have little wheels just under his there's a, block, a big rolly one there and two little tiny ones um I, yeah i cannot afford it i think it's a great alt mode um yeah not much other than say about that really you're going to get a little bit of articulation there on the front shovel uh who next uh mix master what the hell were they doing with this one um i think it's like they they sort of had a does a, a, a thing to do something with it and then got forgot and then created two fronts for the thing. I mean, this should be the front because obviously every cement mixer I've ever seen has the barrel on the back with the front. Um, so what is going on with this? I don't know. Um, you know, obviously this one is here to give him the foot. So when you combine them into Devastator, you're going to put that out like that. And that gives him his classic sort of foot look with the thing there. Why they couldn't have just um, made that on the front? and not bothered with that I really do not know um, I mean maybe there is cement mixers out there which have it on the front well, I've never seen one um, but you know it does look like he doesn't know whether he's coming or going to be honest with you um, yeah I, I really can't say more than that because uh, that is the biggest letdown I think make toys or someone is making their own actual version of this I know you can get the perfect effect parts for this um, especially in devastate mode this will go over that to give him more of a decent g1-esque foot there yeah uh, next we're gonna go for hook now hook has an okay vehicle mode it's not perfect by any sense of the means and um, i think they did cheap out on some things like it's a bit unfortunate because like you got to think back that eight that old G1 toy with its limited articulation, at least this section did swivel. This one doesn't. Um, they maybe could have made it so it did, but obviously, you know, they're trying to hide all the combiner parts on him, so maybe, you know. And I also think money starts to play an issue. I think they're going to cheap. The plastic feels slightly almost pound shopish to me, um, so that you would get with a few knockoff figures. So I think they've gone slightly cheaper on the plastic as well. Maybe to keep the price down, I don't know. Um, but also, 
especially on some of the arms, you, there's no articulation on the arms. But I, I quite like that in a way because I think it does hark back to its original G1 because you was only ever going to get articulation on them just at the shoulder. So, you know. Um, yeah, um, but then again, the old G1 did have a swiveling hook at the front there, I think, from what I remember. Um, this doesn't want to sit flush for some reason. It feels like it wants to go. I think I did see on two T2RX's video that there was a way of fixing this because it sort of goes all the way to the end there. But you try and push it there and then it just doesn't seem to want to go all the way. It hits like this line here and then the other section is in halfway over this. But it feels like it should be more in the middle because um, it just doesn't sit in the middle exactly. Not that bothered, but if you're a... Not completist, but if you're finicky over those sorts of things, it is going to bug you, just like it does me. Now you come to long haul. Long haul is definitely the biggest, and I really love this. I love this. This is fantastic. It is a great dump truck. Oh, pardon me. Um, he does look like that's that cup of tea I just now. Um, he does look like a giant dump truck that you'd see at the um, tips and dumps and everything. Just the giant, massive ones. Um, yeah, fantastic road mode. Big chunky wheels. Love the front there. Overall, just brilliant. Shame the actual dump section doesn't open out, but still great. And he's absolutely massive. I mean, he is the chunk of the main body. And then we're going to come to Scavenger. The only one of these with Scrapper, actually, that I had when I... No, actually, when I was about 15, I think, so I got me in World of Wolves. Um... <sighs> Wow. Yeah, actually, no, I did have these because these were like, I remember on the news about all the lead paint in some Transformers back when I was a kid. Um, I did get the Mexican version of these. These were They were they were on sale at a local news agent. Shame they didn't have the rest. Yeah, just these two. But I did get the rest when I was, yeah, 15 when I was working at Tesco's. Anyway, no one cares about that. Um, yeah, so this is Scavenger. And he does have some articulation here and here on the uh, front shovel. This section always wants to come apart when you push on it. Again, he does have some wheels, a bit like Bone Crusher. And it's a okay-ish steam shovel. Is it a steam shovel or just a shovel? I can't remember. I don't think it's steam because he's not steam driven. But he's a shovel. Um, pretty good. Like it. Right, I'm going to transform these all into robot mode and I shall be right back. Right, so I have them all transformed into their robot modes. And to be honest, the transformations are actually, even for them, probably the most complicated ones, which you could say is Bone Crusher and Scavenger there, maybe to a tiny degree um, long haul but not really um this transformations are actually fairly easy um easy to follow the instructions i mean i, I just used a couple of videos off youtube because so i was trying to do it quick and it just just falls into place really uh, which to my to my mind i actually quite prefer i mean over complicated transformations can be just um a bit too much sometimes um so it's nice to have an easy one fun just keeps it simple and i love it um yeah, I love it. Can't say fair in that. Right, so let's start off with Scrapper here again. He has a great robot. I, I like it. I know he doesn't have no articulation on the arms, but neither did the G1. And to be honest, I don't I don't mind that. I, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, it would be great if he did, but, you know. Um, I, I don't always pull out the joints all the way here. I mean, you can pull them all the way out there, but then I just find the arms are sticking out too far. So I just sort of leave them halfway. And I just think to myself, it does give her a better look. Um, it does then get hindered somewhat. Actually, no, I think that's someone else. Um, can't think who. Um, who was that then? Someone. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I always thought it did get hindered by the back, but it don't. It does have some articulation on the feet here, just to help him stand. Um, yeah, I, I actually really love it. The head sculpts are fantastic. We're going to move on next to Bone Crusher. Now, he uh, does have a slight problem on the hips here. Every time we try moving these, these do come apart, which is really annoying. But, I mean, if he was playing with it, if he was a child trying to play with it, that would become annoying. Um, but to me, it's just going to be on my shelf, so it's not really too much of an issue, but it's just a bit annoying. But he does have some great articulation. Um, oh, yeah, and that bit does sort of stick out the back of it. You don't know what to do with that, really. Uh, yeah, so he's all right. Uh, we're going to come to you next. Then we come to Mixmaster. He's not bad at all. Um... I think maybe the reason why he had two sort of like um, cockpits or whatever you want to call it is so when he transforms into robot mode, just for easiness, they can make it look like he's got the front of it on his legs, like the old G1 maybe. I'm not totally sure on that. This does end up hanging off his ass, um, which is a shame. 
Um, yeah, bit of a shame about that. Just a shame. Do you know what? It would be just nice if he could have disconnected it and thrown it on the side or something. That would have been better for me. He does have some articulation on his wrists and elbows, though it does end up looking a little dodgy. Um, yeah, so that's Mixmaster. These guys do have some articulation on the feet, just so you can sort of, sort of stand them up. Then we're going to come here to Hook, who's not too bad at all. He's got a fairly solid robot mode. Some Again, some funny elbows, but great head sculpts um, and great all round, really. Um, he does have that giant hook on the back to help him stand, which is always a bonus. We're going to come to this big behemoth that is Long Haul. Now, for me, he's a mixed bag. I love him because he's giant and bulky don't really remember the original g1 being like that but he's, he's for me he's all right he does have his little stumpy arms but then again the arms of the old g1 they were really dodgy um and from what i remember on the old g1 this 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 bit formed the legs but there we go he, he does have some massively strong ratcheted legs but they're because they're going to be used for devastator so you're not going to get a lot of posability out of this guy but who cares um, and then we're going to come to the last one, which is Scavenger. And I love this guy. I think he's great. I mean, I love the legs. I think the legs, even because he's got the same sort of legs as, uh, what's his face over there, Bone Crusher. They're just great. Just great. Uh, I love it. And he's got a great rope. The young one arm, was one arm really stiff on? It might be on Bone Crusher over there. Someone's got a really stiff arm. The other one's really loose. Um, love the head sculpts. I've just really love them i think it's a really good i mean there were definite bits that could be improved upon um i know the takara versions have some extra articulation on the elbows for some of them um yes yeah, so there's a few instances where you could sort of like maybe want them to be a bit more improved but on the generally they're all right you're not going to go wrong with them uh right i'm going to transform this guy or well, all these guys into devastator so i'll be right, right back. so here we have him transformed into devastator and the actual transformation is actually not that bad, really. I mean, I've had a lot bloody worse, believe me. Um, let me just lift this up so you can actually see him. Um, just for a size comparison here, I've brought in Combiner Wars Bruticus, and he's got the perfect effect parts on him. And as you can see, he only comes up to his midriff there. Um, is that a proper size? I, I mean, I, I don't know, because obviously, you know, back in the day, they were roughly the same size, but I know they wanted to make this guy a titan class figure and i think he's he's great i mean yeah he's got a few dodgy bits i mean look at these arms um they could do with you know like remolding or whatever because they're pretty basic again i know perfect effect to making some so obviously you know you know you could upgrade those bits there but generally on the whole i think he's brilliant i mean i love the head sculpt i think that's a horror version that's a slightly different one and you can get the san diego con exclusive one with the sort of like trend not translucent purple chromed chest there and stuff yeah that foot's always a bit dodgy isn't it? um but other than that i think it's actually a very very good combiner um worth worth picking up definitely i think it's definitely a good one right okay this has been graham the collector 75 um i'm gonna end this video there because it was more of like just a quick look at them really um, yeah, I'm going to end this video there, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.